here's the Power Wheel demo apparatus. Um, not a lot has changed uh, visibly uh, since the last video. I've changed the output sprocket to a standard bicycle chain ring, as they're called, it's down up under there. Uh, so, I've got a, almost no step up in the output drive stage, and um, this PMA is not going to get not going to get me to the finish line anyway. Here's the uh, friction wheel um, edge. I used uh, gasket rubber. 16th inch gasket rubber. Uh, the prime mover is now a little bench grinder from Harbor Freight. It uh, It works. It just consumes too much power for this uh, at this scale. 150 watts of input power is too much. It's too difficult to make or exceed. The drive wheel is still. Uh, made out of plywood treated with super glue, uh, clear Gorilla Glue. Uh, everything else, I mean all the tech is real basic here, DIY stuff. Uh, the, right now the this is the output from the PMA. It's shorted, so there is a load on the system. One thing that could be tried is to mount several small sprockets around the perimeter of this so that I have correct engagement of the chain but that's for someone else to try I guess the um, I guess I will spin it up and show you that.
there is a bit of wiggle up here at the top side that um, is not good but not terrible under the circumstances. Okay, that's the story. As it turned out, all of the standoff for the drive, the power wheel, uh, oh, I did that to use the DIY giant sprocket, which would never work well. The alternator mount, I had added standoff for about, of about an inch and a half. When I changed to the sprocket, all those things changed, and the need for all that standoff changed. So, I remounted the alternator, modified the alternator mount, and it's now reasonably functional. So, that's the story. Come on, guys. Spread the word. We need to get Siemens and Avasta or Vast Vesta or whatever those companies are involved. Get them interested, at least. Because uh, this could be a 50-meter wind turbine retrofit with see the idea is um, input power finite amount of input power can come from the existing power grid or from stored energy in batteries from solar so what we have is a system that's not dependent um, are not influenced by the environment, by the weather, by clouds, by rain, lack of wind, or no river nearby. It's the wave of the future if we can just figure it out. So, thanks.